Yeah. Hello. I just wanted to, to do this quick little video. Um, I woke up, I mean, it's 3.30 in the morning. You know, God has a good sense of humor when he wakes you up thinking about something. And all of a sudden, that's the first thing that's on your mind. You're thinking about something that you did the night before. It's like, whoa. <laughs> but I woke up thinking about what I was texting with a friend about last night. About being able to, to minister the gospel and having the, the platform of social media. And, and just being able to, to share the gospel, which is awesome. I love it. I mean, it, it's an amazing privilege and honor to be able to do that and have that platform, but I wanted to hit it from a different way, and I know this is going to touch a lot of people and kind of be like a, like a, you know, helping you, I, I, I'm doing it out of love and to help you to see it from a different perspective because a lot of times we get so, you know, caught up in, in, in seeing things a certain way that we kind of miss things, we kind of miss seeing the true beauty of something because we're looking through it through our way of seeing things instead of the way that God's seeing it and I'm trying to help you see it the way that God sees it because it's awesome to be able to minister the gospel I mean that is just an awesome thing that to have that privilege and honor of having you know social media as a platform to be able to do that with because you know these days people use it for so many awful things and just perverted things and just I mean total nonsense but to be able to, to have that platform to share it, you know, to share the gospel and to be able to, to minister to people is just a, a wonderful thing. It's an awesome thing, and I, lo I love doing it. But, you know, I got to thinking about what we were, me and my friend were texting about last night, and I thought, wait, you know, because she's, she's saying, oh, we've, we've had the platform of, of social media and, you know, being able to, to reach people and to minister the gospel to them. She was saying, well, I haven't. All I really minister to is my family, and I feel like I'm not doing enough. And that, I mean, I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, it didn't hit me until I woke up a few minutes ago. I mean, it didn't totally hit me, hit me. I mean, I, I thought about some of it last night, but then, I, I mean, I was just so tired. I just went to bed, and I didn't think nothing of it. But God woke me up this morning, and I'm thinking, oh, my God. I'm thinking, Lord. I mean, it was like a light bulb went off in my head. Because I'm thinking, yeah, it's a privilege and an honor to be able to minister the gospel to people. But what people fail to see sometimes is the true beauty of seeing somebody transform. To see, I mean, having the honor of, of you know, being able to see the transformation in somebody's life as it happens. I mean, not just, you know, not that I don't like hearing testimonies. I do. I love it. I love hearing people's testimonies. But um, the point I'm trying to get to is, you know, when, when people, um, you know, like she was saying that she only has, you know, her family to minister to. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, she's not seeing the true beauty of this. This is an honor because not, you know, God doesn't, you know, pick everybody to minister to their family. He only picks a selective few to do that because only a selective few can do that. I mean, that, is, that takes something that not everybody has. To be able to minister to your family. I mean, it's one thing to minister the gospel, you know, to, to other people. But when it comes down to your family, it's a whole different ball game Because you're dealing with people that, you know, you see all the time that know you. And know who you are. And know, you know, your lifestyle. And know different things. You know, they, they're more closer to you. You know, they're not like, you know, somebody that you're just ministering to like I do online. But, you know... It's your family, and you're you're actually being able to see the hand of God on their life, and see the transformation as it happens, as the process happens. I mean, it's not like you know. I love hearing testimonies. Don't get me wrong. I'm just trying to shed some light on on the the subject of of being able to to actually see the transformation in somebody's life, which is so amazing and awesome. I mean, to see the hand of God, to see how He transforms somebody. From step, I mean, every step of the way, not just seeing the end result, you know, not just having, you know, a person share it with you that you don't know, you know, which is awesome. I love hearing testimonies and I hope that, that people keep on sharing their testimonies with me because I love hearing it. I love, you know, seeing how God changes people, but to be able to have the honor and the privilege of seeing it step by step by step. To see it happen, to see God's hand on somebody's life, and to see them go from the darkness to the light as it happens is, to me, is just, wow. <laughs> that is just amazing because God doesn't choose everybody to minister to their family. 
he only chooses a select a few to do that. And only a select a few people have, you know, what it takes to be able to minister to their family because not everybody can do that. You know, even ministers that are, you know, preaching the gospel all over the world, even famous ones, you know, don't always have that privilege and that honor of ministering to their family because they don't have what they need to have to be able to minister to them. I don't know if that's making sense, but it, it's, it takes a certain, um, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but it just, it takes something that not everybody has, a gift, I guess, a certain gift I'll use as a, for instance, I mean, it may not be a good example, but, you know, it's like a gift, which really in itself is a gift. I mean, to be able to, to, see the transformation to be able to minister to your family and to be able to to see them change even though at times it can be frustrating to minister to your family sometimes it can be <laughs> frustrating because they you know they bicker back and forth and argue with you this and that and the other and i mean it, it 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 can be you know not a pleasant thing all the time but to be able to see it happen as it happens i mean to be able to to see the process every day that they're making and the closeness that they're getting to god and the light coming into their life and the darkness fading away. I mean, to see it as a process to me is just so awesome to be able to, to witness that, to be able to, to, to see the, the complete and total transformation as it happens. I mean, not just to see the finished product, you know, not to just have God put it together and all of a sudden bring it out here and like, Oh wow. Okay. It's, it's done. No, when people are, are have that, that privilege and that honor, when God chooses them, and handpicks them out to minister to their family and to be able to, to see the transformation and to see the change in their life and to see how God, you know, does it and to see his work at hand. I mean, to see it as a, a, a process, to see the process happen, you know, to witness it, to be able to see, wow, God took you from this to this. And I was able to, to, to see the whole process as it happens. That's an honor and a privilege. I mean, that is like, whoa. <laughs> That to me is just the most awesome thing to be able to see it as it happens because not everybody can do that. You know, not everybody has that, that gift and that privilege to be able to minister to their family because, you know, you know, it just takes something that not everybody has. And, that you know, God can only use a select a few to do that to with because it takes something that is just something special that they have in them that, that God placed in them to be able to, to do that. But I mean, it, it's just awesome. To be able to see it, the process as it happens, to be able to, to witness it and to see it every day in their life and to see the changes they go through and to see the process of it, to see them go from this and then they change and they go to that and then they change and go to that. And it's like, it, it's just awesome because you're seeing the hand of God upon somebody's life. You're seeing his hand on, literally on them, changing them, taking them from the darkness to the light. And you're seeing it as a process, as a, a stage, you know, you're seeing every stage of it. You're not just seeing, you know, you're not just seeing one part of it. You're not just seeing the finished product, you know, you're not just seeing somebody come out and say, oh, look, you know, God did this and did that, which is wonderful and awesome. I'm not, you know, downgrading that or, or not trying to make it seem like that's not an awesome thing. It is. But to me, to be able to see it happen and as it happens. To see God's hand literally on a person's life and to see them change as a process is just awesome. Because you're, you know, that that's just showing you how God works and how God does things. And to me, it, it's helping you see God in a different light because you're seeing his work at hand. You're seeing how he does things, how he, you know, places people in their life or he'll change something or he'll put a new idea in their mind or he'll you know, take something, remove something from their life that they were doing that they shouldn't be doing. And he's giving them a desire to do something else. And you're seeing it as a process. You're seeing it happen. And you're seeing it, you know, as it goes along in stages until you get to the finished product. And then it's like, wow, I had the honor and the privilege of actually witnessing this, actually seeing this as a process happen and see this person's life change and to see my family's life change. And to see them get snatched out of the enemy's hand, placed into God's kingdom, is just, I mean, there's no words to describe how awesome that is. It's just, it's, it's an awesome, awesome thing. But I think a lot of times we, we kind of overlook that. People overlook it and they don't see it for what it truly is. They don't see it the 
for the truly blessing it is. And I just wanted to shed some light on it because I'm like, I mean, I woke up and it was like a light bulb went off in my head. I mean, that's the first thing that hit my mind is what we were talking about last night, what me and my friend were talking about last night. And I thought, Lord. And I just went right into prayer. I'm like, Jesus. I'm like, Lord, please help her to see the awesome privilege that she has to be able to minister to her family and to see, witness the change in them as it goes, as it happens. I mean, it's awesome. And I was just, I went right into prayer because it just, I mean, it just was like heavy on me. And I just started praying. I'm like, Jesus, just please help her see. And, you know, not just her, but other people that I know are in that same situation. Because I, I, I know a lot of people are. And a lot of people, you know, you don't see it as a true privilege it is. And I just want to shed some light on it and help you to see that it is a really honor and a privilege to be able to do that. Because God don't choose everybody to minister to their family because not everybody can. You know, it takes a certain, um, I don't know if I want to say gift or, it, it just takes something that not everybody has. You know, only certain people have that that in them to be able to to minister to their family and to be able to, you know, put it in a way that helps them see who God is and helps them to see his love for them and helps them to see things as they need to see it and to pour his love on them and to pour his, you know, pour who he is on them so that he can change them from the inside out because that's how God does. He changes a person from the inside out. And to see, to be able to witness that, to be able to see it as it happens, and to be able to, to witness it, to me, is just awesome. Because, it, you know, like I said, not everybody has that, that honor and privilege, but I just woke up with that so strong on me, I had to, I had to share it. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's just like, wow. I'm like, Lord. <laughs> I mean, it's just so funny. Because I woke up and I'm thinking, oh my God. I mean, it was like this light bulb was going bling right in my head. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. I mean, that's the first thing that popped in my head. It was so funny. The minute I opened my eyes and woke up, I thought, Jesus. I, why do people, I mean, I'm like, how can people not see this? How can they not see what an honor and a privilege it is to be able to minister to their family and to the, their loved ones? And I'm like, Jesus. And it just weighed on me. And I'm like, I've got to share this. I've got to, to shed some light on this subject and, and kind of, you know, bring it out there so that people can see. So don't think that, you know, don't see, you know, if, if you are one of the select few that are able to minister to your family, don't see it, you know, is like a, a drag or just a thing that, that's not fun to do or, or, you know, don't see the negative side of it. See the positive side of it. See the see it through God's eyes, through His lens. See it as a privilege and an honor, because it truly is. I mean, see it as an honor. Think, wow, I get to minister to them. Not only minister the gospel to them, but to see it change them. To see God's word at work. I mean, to see His word actually work and see somebody actually putting it to work in their life. Because His word does work. Don't get me wrong. His word works. We just have to work it. We have to put it into action. We have to put it into practice in our lives for it to work. Otherwise, it's not going to. I mean, you can't just sit it on the shelf and let it out of dust and expect it to change you. It doesn't work like that. You have to dig into the word and, and, and let it transform you. Let it change you. Let it, let it you know, do what only it, God can do through it is changing you and transforming you into the person that he's called you to be. But I just wanted to shed some light on this because it was so heavy on me. And I'm like, Jesus i got to somehow get people to see this from a different perspective, to see it from a different way, to shed some light on it and help them see what a, an honor and a privilege this is to be able to minister to your family and to see the transformation in the process. I mean, I'm only just ministering to them, but you're seeing it work. You're seeing it happen. You're seeing the change. You're seeing God's hand on them. And it's just like, wow. I mean, it, <laughs> There's just no words to describe how awesome that is. I mean, it, it's just amazing. But don't, you know, those of you that, that, that have that honor and that privilege, you know, look at it from a positive side and look at it from, from God's perspective. You know, from his way of seeing it. See it as an honor and a privilege that it truly is because you're seeing the transformation in their life. You're seeing them change. And you're the, the, the selective few that God has chosen I mean, you're, 
you're one of the hand-picked ones that God hand-picked you to be able to minister to them. And that is an honor and a privilege in itself. I mean, to be able to, to have him pick you out to do a certain thing, you know, not just to do what everybody else does or do something that, that, that a lot of people do, but he selected you as a selective few to do that certain task, to do that certain assignment, you know, to have that certain assignment to be assigned to your family, more or less is to be the person that God assigned to your family to minister to them and, and to teach them the, the word of God and to teach them the gospel and to see it work in their life and come alive in their life and to see it transform them and drag them, you know, pull them out of the darkness into God's light. It's just awesome. That's the most wonderful thing to be able to see it, the process of it. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's just, there's no words. <laughs> there's no words to see how awesome that is. I mean, I love it. I love being able to see how God transforms people, but I don't always get that privilege because, you know, I don't always get the privilege of ministering to family all the time, and I don't always see, you know, what, what the selective few see to be able to, to see them transform and to see them change. You know, I, I mean, I have the social media um, platform, which I'm grateful for, and I'm thankful to God for every day. I mean, I'm so thankful and grateful that, that I have this platform to, to be able to, to minister to people and get God's word out, but to be the selective few to, to, to minister to your family, wow, that's that's such an honor and a privilege. I mean, it's it's just amazing to be able to be the one to see, to, to see your family members get saved, to know that you were the tool, that you were the, the tool that God used to save them, to bring them to salvation, to bring them out of the darkness and to God's light. I mean... There's just no words to describe how awesome that is. I mean, <laughs> to be the reason for their salvation, more or less, to be the person that God chose to get them saved and, and delivered from the darkness and snatch them out of the hand of the enemy and bring them into God's kingdom and know that in heaven you're going to have an awesome reward. I mean, that in itself, to me, the reward in itself, I mean, honestly, to me, the true, I mean, God rewards people, don't get me wrong. We have plenty of rewards in heaven for the, the work that we're doing on earth. But to me, the true, um, I, I don't even know the words, it's just an awesome thing. But the true gift, I guess, the true gift of being able to minister to your family is being the one that God chose and to see the transformation. To me, that is just in itself a gift enough for me. I mean, it it truly is. I mean, just to see the transformation and to see them change and to see what God done in their life, to see the, the, the awesome process of it is just, to me, a gift in itself. That's a reward in itself. I mean, that that's like a mega reward to me to be able to, to see that and, the, and to be the one that God chose to bring them unto salvation. I mean, whoa, <laughs> that is just awesome to have a certain person. I mean, not just you know, many people, which is an awesome thing too. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to, to say it's not, it is, but I'm trying to, to shed some light on those people that God has chosen to minister to your family. Don't see it as a negative thing. Look through it, you know, see, begin to see it as a different perspective, you know, see it through God's eyes, see it the way that he sees it because he's seeing this life that he created and you're having the awesome privilege of being able to, to minister to that life, to breathe life into it, if that makes any sense, to, to bring true life into it, I should say. Because really, true life, you don't have a true life until you come to know Christ. But once you do, and to, and to be able to, to be the person that God chose to bring that person into life is just awesome. I mean, it's, it's just, to me, a reward in itself. To me, that's that's all the reward I would ever need really is truly is to see how God transformed per, a person and how he changed them and how I was the one that he chose to pull them out of the darkness into his light. I was the vessel that he used to, to bring them out of the devil's hand, to snatch them out of his hand into his kingdom and to be able to, to be the one that God chose to save a soul <laughs> I mean, not just many souls, but a, a soul that's in your family, a soul that, that you're you know, connected to, that you have a connection with, that you, you see all the time and you're, you're around all the time. 
I mean, that's just... It's awesome. I mean, it really is. I just wanted to shed some light on it and, and kind of help you see it from a different perspective because don't see it as something negative. See it as an awesome thing. I mean, an awesome privilege, and it truly is to be one of the selective few that God chose to, to do that. I mean, it's just wonderful. But anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to share that and kind of shed a little bit of light on it and kind of help people see it from a different perspective because it was so strong in my heart this morning when I woke up. I'm like, oh, Lord. And it's like I'm, I was tired and I woke up and I thought, Jesus. I mean, it's so funny how that just popped in my head. It was like a light bulb went off. It's like when you go in a dark room and you turn the light on and all of a sudden you can see what's in the room. You can't see what's in the room until you turn the light on. And it was like, wow. I'm like, Jesus. I mean, that's all I can say. I'm like, Lord, help those people shine. Help those people to see the awesomeness of being able to minister to their family. I mean, that's just, wow. There's there's nothing like it to be able to, to see the process of it happen. But anyway, I just wanted to share that real quick and to kind of shed a little bit of light on it and, and to, to pray and hopefully help you to, to see it from a different perspective and, and to see it from a different way. But I'll just end it in a prayer and, and pray for those that, that have that privilege and honor. Father, I come to you in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for everyone that, that is a part of my ministry. Lord, I thank you for blessing them first and foremost. Father, I thank you for, for moving in their lives. I thank you for transforming and changing them into the people you called them to be. I thank you, Father, they're blossoming into beautiful flowers father that they are just blossoming into to who you called them to be and i thank you for each and every one of them father i thank you for them and i pray your hands upon them that you change them and transform them father not just them but their family members that may not be saved father that may not know you i thank you for their salvation lord i thank you for for moving in their lives and for for just being there with them father and those that are that are going through tough times and going through the fire Father, and I just thank you that they come out of that with the victory, Father. I thank you that they see the victory that they have ahead of them, Father. And that they don't give up and they don't give in, Father. But they fight and they keep fighting the good fight of faith, in faith, Father, knowing that you are with them every step of the way. And I pray, Father, for those that have the honor and the privilege of ministering to their families, Father. I thank you. And I pray, Father, with all my heart, Father, I pray that you will take the blinders off of their eyes, Father. Help them to see the true honor and privilege that it is to be able to minister to their loved ones, to the people that are close to them, Father, the people that, that they love and they care about, Father. I thank you and pray that you just help them to, to see the honor and the privilege that it is, Father. Help them see it from your perspective. Help them to view it through your lens, Father. Not their own, Father, but your land. Shed new light on it, Father. Bring it to light in their life, Father. Help them to see what an honor and a privilege it is, Father, to be able to minister to their family members, Lord. Because we know that you only choose a select a few to do that, Father. Not everybody you know, has that honor and that privilege, Father. But I thank you for each and every person that does have that honor and that privilege, Father. I pray that you are with them, Lord. I pray that you fill their mouths with, with your words, Father, when they speak to their family members, Lord. That you fill their mouth with your words as your word says, Father. That you will put your words in their mouths to speak, Father, at the right time and the right place, Father. And that it will touch those family members' hearts, Father. And it will change them and transform them, Father, and snatch them out of the enemy's hand and bring them into your marvelous light. I thank you, Father that they see it is a true honor, a true privilege as it is, Father. I thank you, and I pray, Father, with all my heart that you help them to see that, Father. Help them to see that. Open their eyes to it, Father. Open their hearts to it, Father. Touch their hearts, Lord, and help them. Soften their hearts, Father, and, and keep it soft and pliable towards you, Lord. And just help them to see it through your eyes and through your perspective, Father. And to see it through the, the ways that you see it, Father, the way you see it, not the way that they want to see it. But through your eyes, Father, give them your eyes to see and your ears to hear, Father, so that they know, Father, and they see the true transformation that their family is making because of them, Father. They are an important part, Father, not just in their family's life, but in your life, Father, in your kingdom. That they're an important person, Father, that you love them and that you hand chose them, Father, to minister to their family and to to shed your light on their lives, Father. And I just thank you for that, Father. And I pray, Father, they see just how 
special of an honor and a privilege that that is, Father, and that they see, that they see it, Father, and that they know it, Lord, and that they, they just keep on this process, Father, they keep on the road that you put before them, Father, that they stay on that path, Father, that you put before them, Lord, and they walk in your ways, and they, and they, they do everything that you call them to do, Father, I just thank you for that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Well, hallelujah. Well, I just wanted to share that little word with everybody. I, I, and pray that I hope that, that God helps you see it as a, through a different perspective and see it in a different way so that, that you will see what a, a true honor and privilege it is to be able to minister to your family. But um, until next time, you be blessed. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.